Hi. In several of my tarot videos, I mentioned Robert Place and his artwork and his research and books have been such a big part in my tarot journey that I thought I would do a series of videos sharing his decks and his artwork with you. I'm going to start with his newest deck, which is actually not a tarot deck. It is a Lenormand deck, or, or Lenormand, however you say that. It is called the Burning Serpent Oracle, and here's the box. And it comes with a little white book, and, and um, what makes this unusual is that this little white book is written by Rachel Pollack. Normally, Robert does all of his own writing. And so, as far as the writing, it was, I guess, a collaborative effort. She, uh, Rachel Pollack, also put out a full book on this Burning Serpent Oracle. And I did buy the book separately. Um, the book is 258 pages. It has full pictures of the cards and, you know, wonderful descriptions at the way Rachel Pollack writes. Uh -huh. So let's take a look at some of the cards. Let me show you the backs. And um, that is Hermes, the messenger. And he is also on the first card rather than the rider. Um, you have Hermes, the messenger, and he's on his horse, his winged horse, Pegasus. So you can see Robert's style is very clean. The colors are saturated but never garish. His artwork is um, always beautiful, masterful. <laughs> the red clover. So they made, or he made some changes to, to the traditional Lenormand. Here's the house on the hill. But for the most part, it follows that structure. This is nice. This is the flaming tree. The tree shows the spring the summer and fall, or autumn, all on that one tree, which is unusual. Uh, here, here's the clouds. I have a few Lenormand decks, and this is by far my favorite. This is the one that really made me want to start um, studying Lenormand. Here's the burning serpent. The dead tree. This would be winter of that other tree I just showed. And this is rather than the coffin. Here's the scythe. Girl and boy. The fox. The bear is next. The stars. There's the stork. You can see how beautiful these paintings are. And I will link his information and his site below. Here's the hound. cards are always full of symbolism, but of course this is different than tarot, where you're really just reading the meaning. It's n they're not as intuitive as a tarot would be. Um, but I guess they're really not supposed to be used intuitively, but I guess you could do what you want. <laughs> Here's the garden. That is beautiful. Uh, this is very nice. This is the path, and that's a statue of Hec Hecate who is a guardian of the crossroads, if, I, if I'm saying her name right. Here. The mice. The heart. Here's the gold ring. The Book of Life with, um, with a picture of Artemis here. 
and her animals. The letter. Okay, we have the man and the woman, and you get two of each. Two men, each facing a different direction, and two women, each facing a different direction, depending on who you're reading for. Okay, and the lilies. I think that's just gorgeous. This reminds me of a, of a painting. Uh, oh. I think it's Manet. Anyway, um, the sun. The moon. That's Celine. There's the key. I like that he put um, a flower of life behind the key there in the clouds or in the sky. The jumping fish. And the anchor. And he ends up the deck with a couple of extra cards, which I really like. We have Osiris, who rules death and rebirth. And we have Isis. So that, once again, is the Burning Serpent Oracle by Robert M. Place. Thank you for watching. I'll leave his information below. Bye now.